to Freeway Moments. In this episode, we're going to be looking at opening new windows. The easiest way to get a new window to open is to tell the browser to do it by setting an attribute on the linked item. So if I select the System Requirements button and go to Edit Hyperlink, the Edit Hyperlink window will open. I choose the System Requirements page, which is the page we want to show in a new window. And in Target, I select underscore blank and that says to the browser open this link in a new window. So if we OK that and then go to File, Preview in Browser and Safari, here's our page. I'll click on the button and you'll see it's opened it in a brand new window. However, as you have probably noticed, that browser window which opened was very large and really we don't want that window to be that big, we want it to be a controllable size and for that we need to use an action. So the first thing I'll do is just remove that hyperlink by clicking on the remove link button. Next I want to go to item actions and choose the action link to new window. We open the actions palette we can look at the settings needed to control this window. We need to select the page we want to open that system requirements and then we want the width and the height of the window when it is opened. And we know our page is 400 pixels wide by 400 pixels high. So I can add 400 in there and 400 in the height. We just want to control how the window looks when it's opened. We don't want the toolbar, scroll bars or for the window to be resizable. Now let's preview this window in Safari and see how it behaves. Here's our button as before. When I click on System Requirements, a new window opens to the dimensions we set in the action. Now some of these options may not be honoured by the browser. For example, if we view it in Firefox, and again click on System Requirements, you'll notice we have the address bar and the status bar showing. It's important for some users to see where the page they're opening in such windows comes from. We can also use HTML text to open a window. It's actually very similar to the version I've already shown you. We just need to put the action on the page in a slightly different way. Let's put it after the word easier in this box. So I've double clicked in this box. I'm going to add a space. And now if I go to insert action item and choose text link to new window. And you'll see an item box has appeared here. If I select this box and open the Actions window again, we'll have an extra parameter which says My Text. I'm just going to put in System Requirements and again I'll choose the System Requirements page. And 400 by 400 pixels again. And we don't want to show any of the toolbars or scroll bars if possible. So go to File preview in browser and choose Safari and you'll see now we have system requirements link if I click on that the same window will open. So far you will notice that the windows we've opened always open at the top left hand of the screen. There is another action which does the same job as the link to new window action and that's the spawn new window action. So let's apply that to the system requirements button and just have a quick look at how we can make a window appear in the middle of the page. Again, we want to choose the System Requirements page and we know the window is 400 by 400 pixels. The Center Window and Screen option does pretty much what it says, subject to browser support. So if we preview this page now in Safari if we click on the System Requirements button, the window will open right in the middle of the screen. The Spawn New Window action also lets you open a window without needing to open a new browser window. If we click on iPad Friendly and go to File, Preview in Browser and Safari, when we click on the System Requirements button now, the window will appear as part of the browser window and will blank out the background. And we can close that and the page is restored. 
This option gives a much better user experience for people using iOS devices, such as the iPad or the iPhone. Those were a few ways of easily creating new windows in Freeway. Have fun with them, and there will be a new moment along soon. Goodbye.